Let's check it out. Let's make sure we're live. And there we are. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hello, everyone. This is Chicho, and welcome to my channel. Today is February 4th, 2021, and we're doing a comic book haul video. And this comic book haul is 13 books that were missing from comic book haul number 41 that we did. Was it 41? Or 14 I can't remember now hold on let me check this out which comic book hall was it which comic book hall was it let me check this out it was comic book hall number 41 wow we've done 41 comic book halls crazy crazy super cool super cool right and um the person ended up sending us, you know, I contacted him. Well, you know what? We're going to wait about five minutes until a few people roll in uh, because I, I should tell the story of this um, while people are here because I know the question is going to come up most likely uh, where we're getting uh, new people coming in. Um, and while we wait, uh, if you want to know what this is about, uh, I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O, if you want to support this work, if you want to know what we're doing here which is all layered on mathematics patreon is a great way to follow the work i don't put anything behind paywalls everything is creative commons share and share like lions how are you doing hope you're doing well i hope ireland is treating you well tony bus how are you doing long time no see brother hey chicho checking in from lockdown over here oh dude <laughs> everybody elder god how are you doing nikki hickey how are you how are you comic book time comic book time mc mike good morning chicho and gang good morning eileen king divinity hello hello chicho hey, chicho a long time no see i've been busy good to see you. you're still streaming indeed brother indeed uh or sister of course <laughs> right another irishman another irishman how many irishmen do we have here yo let's go void how are you doing Gr grillum 1995 oh you're the other irishman <laughs> alleged goon hey all hope you are well gang we got the third well we don't know yet i've been i, I gotta i've been like going okay i've been trying to distract myself from thinking about this um because i'm a little nervous opening it up <laughs> Lions treating me great, Chicho. Plenty of rain. Haven't seen the sun in days. Good day, though. Haha, <laughs> nice. We were lucky. We got the sun yesterday, so it was really nice. Tony Bus, we have one case for the first time in 10 months here, and the whole city is in lockdown for five days. <laughs> Insanity. Tony Bus, which city, by the way? Uh, Tony, uh, Uncharted Days. How are you doing, hey, Chicho? Hope you are. Uh, you and Chad are well, indeed. Grillum, yep, you're the Irishman. Nice, nice. Lonely Piggy, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome to all my UK brothers and Americans and Canadians. How are you guys doing? And New Zealand and Australia and the rest of the Europe and the rest of the world. Void Hook, imagine those 13 are wrapped like the ones yesterday. Oh my god. Hey, Chicho. Shirtless Kylo, how are you doing? How's life? Now, by the way, gang, uh, I'm assuming all the packages that we sent out during the auction got to where they were going because shirtless Cairo's package came back <laughs> shirtless Cairo, you gave me the wrong postal code so he's giving me the his correct postal code so i'm going to send that off in the next couple of days i don't tr i try not to go to a post office too often other than a comic book also. i smell pulp we'll see man i and i have everything uh all the taps open for each of the comics oh man i hope they're there i hope no you're not an idiot it's just a simple mistake one number was off cheryl how are you doing tony you're in perth australia one case in 10 months like locked <laughs> crazy five days man man starsky how are you doing yo how's it going chicho this is like the fourth comic stream in a row when will you do finance comics and investing we've done some comics investing i gotta do man i just a brother i was crazy busy crazy busy right uh we gotta start looking at some of the data um some of the comics we sold take a look at uh i, I one the first thing i want to do is look at the 
look at some of the comic book hauls we've done in the past is pull out some of those comics and do an analysis of what those comics are selling for for the grade we bought them at to do a return on investment right i'm guessing the first one we should do is with the first comic book haul go back to 2015 or 14 and take a look at the lot of um comics we bought which were the daredevil lots i created the spreadsheet i still have the spreadsheets and then do a ebay search of uh completed listings sold list sold listings right and see what they're selling for in that grade or look at the price guide and see the discrepancy between them and see what the return on investment would have been if it's positive or negative right uh that's the first one i want to do that's directly linked up to asmr mathematics and personal finance right Scam up lions, massive dog going on plant tonight, and Erin Moss had a few tweets about it. Yeah, uh, be careful, gang. Like I said before in personal finance videos in the past, this is a trader's market. I've been saying that for two years. Man, get in, get your returns, pull out. This is this is this is the market we're in realize if you're holding bubbles you are holding bubbles if you're letting go of solid companies because the hype is not there realize that they were solid companies it's just the momentum is not there right so you're basically trading the momentum right now in the markets if you want to think about it that way crack how are you doing i got mine i love them thanks chicho nice awesome elder guy our city has three different codes and I recently moved to another code area. I was so excited. Oh, dude, comic analysis video would be fun. Indeed, I, that, that was my plan from day one, from the first video I put out with the introduction of comics, right? That's a killer, right? Crack, yeah, brother. That's the reason I got into doing comic book haul videos because I wanted to show, link it up directly to uh, personal finance series that i want to create linked up with asmr mathematics and i don't want to use the stock market because i hate wall street right i want to show that you can invest in something that you love and get look at the same type of metrics that you would in the stock market as to your investments but your investments in things that you love that are a part of your life and these are just the return on investment based on fiat currency we're not even talking about the pleasure of it the joy of it the love of it right those will do later put a metric on it right love <laughs> anyway as you as you as you as you can guess i have a lot planned we'll see how long it'll take us to go through it all there is a rhyme and reason to this madness gang if you've been following the work you know that it's just my rhyme and reason made sometimes the calculus takes a while to unfold mc mike i worried uh, though this bubble in the stock market could burst at any time for sure indeed it could burst right now <laughs> there's a lot of similar things and sentiments happening now to what happened in 1929 indeed and amplify it amplified mc mike so glad i pulled out of uh, gamestop before the massive decline i left with profit thank lord yeah kebabs and you could have it was a very risky thing to do you could have shorted it as well and we were talking on our discord and i mentioned people were asking if it was going to go higher and stuff and i mentioned that the odds are it'll probably hit around 500 uh maybe puncture 500 and then it would do the massive drop right and it, i think it went up all the way to like 490 or 480 and right i think the uh, pleasure and joy of it come through in these yeah and i can't help it <laughs> i can't help it gang uh cheers uh uh M mander mander nine first time i've seen your name i think cheers chicho good to see you live again i have a stonking head cold so this is that this is helping me relax cheers brother cheers brother i hope you enjoy gang uh speedy gonzalez we're live streaming on twitch i do announce these live streams on multiple social platforms and we do have a discord page for videos that we don't have any visuals we do load the audio to soundcloud i'll be releasing one today on our education and we will be uploading this video to sensor 2 bit and rumble uh, not too sure about odyssey i don't have enough coins there right 
let's take these guys down let's get to the comic book hall let me give you the lowdown on this game right this comic book hall question do you believe in third eye things third eye things uh intuition and stuff yeah i think there's more to life than what we see there, there's no doubt we've talked about this right comic books comic books sorry if i'm missing anything gang chicho is playing the long game i'm playing the long game man i and i play short bumps as well but i used to play short bumps a lot more i'm in i'm in this for the joy of it right and the uh, the life experience of it right i want to live my life like this and my life i don't want it to be a short free you know high frequency life i want it to be a long ride right Oh, I followed yesterday, but my internet cut out. Oh no, trashy birdie. Hi, guess how are you doing, gang? Let me give you the lowdown on what's supposed to be in here, okay? Because this is the third time that we're trying to get this. This was 13 comics that were missing from a previous comic book haul. Comic book haul number 14. I'm linking it up in the chat, okay? If you want to have a reference. Uh, to where it is come on kung fu fighter oh my god right and i'll provide the link in the description of the video right so this was a comic book hall number four of uh, 41 okay and the total lot all the comics cost all in including shipping was 270 dollars canadian right and it was a fantastic deal like crazy awesome deal there were 180 books in there and some serious keys right this these 13 comic books i hope were here were from a lot was was from the most expensive lot which ended up costing 102 dollars and 50 cents canadian and in this lot there were let me count the com comics four um seven ten um 15 15 17 uh 22 22 uh da, 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 22 plus 13 uh 32 35 comics there were supposed to be 35 comics in this lot and 13 of them were missing in this lot that cost 102 dollars and five cents there was magnus robot fighter number 12 first appearance of uh turok from valiant okay uh bloodshot number uh number seven which was the first cover appearance of ninjack which is common Eternal Warrior number five, which is the second full appearance of Bloodshot, which is common. Whole bunch of randoms. There was Green Lantern number 41 with the rings, right? There was the second print of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original series, right? A second print of number three and number six, okay? Whole bunch of other randoms and these 13 key books. Well, all 13 aren't keys, but there's key books here, okay? that's the intro to this and the guy sent me a package before and he said those were a lot those were the comics but he sent them to the wrong place they were he sent me gideon falls trade paperbacks one to four and i packaged those up and sent them two days ago with tracking to whoever was supposed to get it and then the guy who got our comics sent this right and the seller really didn't reply to me i sent him a message uh, but he didn't really reply to me until I filed a case, right? And then the money was put on hold, and then he replied to me and try to sort this out. <sighs> Let's check it out. Elder God, you got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one? Dude. This was a Canadian seller crack. Yeah, but the guys, he lives in the UK now. He was dumping his comic books and moving to the uk so he's actually in the uk now uh, oh come on i'm nervous about this one <laughs> i want that kung fu fighter <laughs> really come on whoever you were that got gideon's falls be an honest person be a good person send chicho his comic Nicely packaged. Oh, I think it's the 
legit. I think it's legit, man. these guys and then these guys are loose oh dude oh dude I can't believe these things made it <laughs> insanity what a crazy ride this is the craziest comic book haul man this is the craziest comic book haul what a crazy Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Let's take a look at this gang. Let's take a look at this. Let's go. Let me show you what we got. Let me show you what we got. Now the grade on these things varies. The grade varies, right? It wasn't about the grade. It was about getting these because I don't think I have, I have some of these uh, two, two out of 13 or something. <laughs> oh my God. Check this out. Let me show you what we got. Now I have uh on my comic shop, I have uh, the things open. So I'm just gonna read the description of what these are, right? Check this out, check this out. And all of these, I believe are DC. They're all DC books, okay? So check this out, check this out. I'm gonna read the description, okay? And here, I'll give you guys the link in the chat. So you know, uh, what it is that I'm reading, right? This is, this is, this is, let me make sure I got this. Check this out, check this out. Let me make sure I got this nicely laid out so you see, okay? All Star Comics, okay? All Star Comics, number 69 from 1977, cover pencils by Al. Milgram, inks by Jack Abel, United We Fall, starring the Justice Society of America, script by Paul Levins, pencils by Joe Stanton, inks by Bob Layton. The Justice Society of America is divided against itself with one group consisting of Hawkman, Green Lantern, Flash, Star Spangled Kid, Wildcat, Dr. Fate, facing off against a group with Commissioner Bruce Wayne behind them. Robin, Wonder Woman, Starman, Dr. Midnight, Our Man, seeking to arrest the others on trumped up charges. Though Power Girl is hurt, Superman and Dr. Fate saved, save the day when Superman stops the fight and Dr. Fate reveals the Commissioner Wayne is being controlled by the Psycho Pirate. The Ice Age Huntress ad with Aquaman Pencils by Kurt Swan, inks by Vince Coletta, two-page CBS Saturday morning cartoon ad with art by Neil Adams. Note, first appearance of second huntress, Helena Wayne. This is shared by DC Superstar uh, number 17 as they come out on the same day. So first appearance of Helena Wayne, uh, the second hun hun huntress, which is she's... Uh, what she is, is uh, the child of Bruce Wayne and uh, uh, Catwoman from an alternate universe. As far as great goes, it's not mint. No, 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 no. Not by a long shot. Uh, alleged good. It looks good. If it's first uh, print, good buddy. I think it should be first print. On the back, it says $20 on it. <laughs> right. So check this out. 
It's, I would grade this at around, uh, let's check it out. I would grade this, I would grade this at around, uh, <laughs> on the boards, it's <laughs> crazy. I should have brought my bags and boards. Uh, I would grade this at around the five. Okay. Very good. Fine. Uh, maybe 4.5. There's a little bit of browning happening. There's a little bit of browning of the pages. Okay. So I would grade this at a, at 4.5 right now. Okay. Yeah, 4.5, which I'm totally okay with. Like good enough. First the prince of the Huns Huntress. And the artwork is fantastic. Oh look at uh, Power Girl. Look at that. Look at that stance. Alright. Awesome, awesome. Where is the Huntstress? So it's about a five grade. Okay. Oh, look at this. You're going to see this. Here's, check this out. That's That character there is Isis. I've never seen the comic book uh, or the uh, cartoon, but I... Keep that in mind. That's an ad for Isis. And where is this monstrous? Do we see it? Oh, I think this is it. This is it. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, is that it? That's not it. Oh, here it is. Here's the first appearance of the monstrous. Cool. Check it out. Isis name didn't age well. No, that's the monstrous right there. Cool. Nice. So this poor guy that put this stuff uh, to sell, um, he's ended up coughing a lot of lot of money for um, to correct the mistake that should have never happened. Corrected a mistake that should have never happened, right? Which is unfortunate. He, I think what happened is he left the comics to be shipped out by someone else. And that person put the wrong label on the wrong box. And it took a month for the package to arrive to me. So I couldn't contact them beforehand, right? So that's one of them. Nice, nice. Did we say you had a, we had a, here's <laughs> a $10 price tag. Did we say ISIS didn't age well? Isis number one. <laughs> Hilarious. And this is, and this is, um, what do you call it? This is probably great at like six or something. So Isis number one. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> let me, let me read you the description of Isis number one. Uh, scrap. Scarab the man who would who, who would destroy based on the live action Saturday morning television series Isis lasted just eight issues here here she battles an ancient sorcer sorcerer freed from a pyramid that has been transported from Egypt to America Gerald Ford on earth uh, s appears oh Gerald Ford appears script by Danny O'Neill pencils by Rick Estrada Inks by Wally Wood. What the hell? Inks by Wally Wood and covered by Kurt Schoffenberger. Kurt Schoffenberger is the guy who did the artwork in the cover for Lois Lane, uh, su uh, Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane number 70, number 70, I believe, that we read. That was the first appearance of Catwoman, right? So here's this one. I'm going to say the link on this. Okay. Isis number one. <laughs> oh my god, you're oh my god, you're playing. It didn't even connect. <laughs> I didn't even see that. I didn't even notice it. I didn't even realize there's a plane there. Damn, I had to do some work. Did I miss Turok appearance? Yeah, Nikki. Uh comic book hall number 41. The first appearance of Turok, Chicho. Check for 911 on the comic.
No, we don't get 911 here. Not here anyway. So not bad. Not bad. Very happy to get it. ISIS numbers really sounds weird in the these eras. Yeah, we need to read that. We need to read. <laughs> Maybe you know what? Uh, some people would really appreciate us reading this because um, conspiracy theorists, because they might pick something up that uh, we might not pick up on first reading. Fantastic, fantastic! Happy to have this. Happy to have this. You guys want this one read? Should we include this, gang? Should we? <laughs> out of all the comic books, you want this? Should we include this in the reading? Should we include this in the next set of readings? Let me know. Yes, Cheryl says. Cheryl says yes. Did we get a second? Did we get a second? Go for it, Nikki. Okay, I'm gonna put this one. I won't go to the next. <laughs> Awesome, awesome, hilarious. Check this out. This one is in. Uh, oh wow, look at the sunburn on this. <laughs> look at this. This one. Yes, conspiracy theorists would love this. Uh -huh. Okay, done deal. Elgar says, I will bring bring my Q. Check this out. Firestorm number one. But it's got like sun damage here, right? And this is the first appearance of. Uh, the one of the villains in firestorm right so this one is like uh regular like uh, you would find this in a dollar bin or something right female superhero and reclaiming the name excellent ah i like the way you think cheryl female superhero and reclaiming the name we read indeed indeed we do awesome awesome i love your perspective so this was in it as well cool why not? Check this one out. Check this one out. Let me bring this up and read the description of this guy. Let me read the description of this, right? Wild dog number one. Wild dog number one. Let me make sure you guys see this. I got a good frame on it. Wild dog number one. Okay, and I'm going to read the description from 1987. Cover pencils by Terry Beatty, inks by Dick Gerard, 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 Giordano. First appearance of Wild Dog in the We Interrupt This Program. Sp script by Max Collins, pencils by Terry Beatty, inks by Dick Gerard, Giordano. River City is a, a nice place to live, unless you count the terrorists and criminals running wild on the streets there's only one cure for that wild dog but you know what they say sometimes the cure is worse than the disease right cool 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 wild dog number one and here's the i'll link this up in the chat as well And this is in uh, in really good shape. This one would be like near mint minus, which is great. And he's got a price tag of ten dollars below it, behind it. So I don't know what he ended up paying. Two of my favorite cr uh, creators, they did the amazing uh, Mrs. Tree series. Uh, which ones, um, Crack? Which are your two of your favorite creators? Lark Bark, have uh, uh, you have an amazing comic? Ah, thanks, Lark Bark. I collect the, the, what interests me, right? I don't chase expensive books. I don't chase hot books or anything like that. I just chase, I just, I love comic books. So if I can find comic books at a great deal, I end up trying to get them. Check this out. I never followed DC's Convergence, okay? So this is Convergence number one, okay? Convergence number one, the Wild Dog team, the Wild Dog team, two, two of your favorite uh, artists, really? Max Collins, Terry Beatty, and Dick uh, Girardano is uh, fantastic. Like, Ger G is that one of the ones you were mentioning, Dick Girardano? Uh, I really like him. Max Collins and Terry Beatty. I don't, I don't uh, associate with anything else for Wild Dog, because I'm crappy with names. Right? This is uh, Max Collins did the road to uh, perdition. Okay, okay. Eagles and cycling. Hi there. How many? 
hundreds or thousands of comics do you think you oh it's it's not hundreds <laughs> we picked up <laughs> we picked up over a hundred in the last comic book haul it we're into the thousands this is convergence number one it's an alternate cover one in 25 okay and i like plastic man right and it's in mint condition so that's cool price at five dollars the guy said and gang hundreds of boxes no not hundreds of boxes uh not hundreds of boxes i got less than 100 boxes long boxes okay uh, and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org or check out our playlist on sensor two max is a great crime writer Ma a crack says and terry Beatty is a hell of an artist really nice style really dude I gotta... <laughs> it's okay i'm putting this with isis we'll see if we can include it in our five readings okay so that's 10 hours of probably 97 but i don't know i don't know check this out sweet sweet this is the one of the ones i wanted for sure key 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 lark bark free assange and pardon edward stone and support chelsea manning 100 percent and still pardon chelsea manning because she still hasn't been pardoned yet about 20 boxes at least <laughs> 17. I, I thought he did pardon snow no 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 eagles and cycling i want to start buying some vintage comics where is the best place to buy online i'm in europe you know if you're patient you can find some amazing deals on comic books on ebay but you got to be patient i gang i did another comic book haul that i've been buying from this one seller for about a month and i just paid for it and he provided me the tracking yesterday and that lot will be coming probably be here in a week or two weeks latest a huge portion of that is golden age comic books that lot is an expensive lot for me anyway okay and we'll definitely go through it and i got some amazing deals check this one out this one i would grade at probably i would have to take it out of the bag he he, he said he paid five bucks for it this thing i would say let's crack it open <laughs> golden age and this one's in mylar too awesome he's got multiple bags in these you don't need multiple bags again patience is exactly right crack says if you dig and look over time there are great comic books lots that you can find indeed there's only one problem with that and crack will agree with this sometimes you end up passing on buys that you should have done right you go oh just pushing my limit maybe i'll pass and go for the other ones i can get a good price and then the price of that comic just gets away from you right like really it's like trying to get into a stock it just gets away from you right which is unfortunate this comic book let me check it out very fine near mint near mint minus and check this out infinity number 14. this is first todd mcfarland cover second full todd mcfarland story artwork okay I was very lucky my friend my grandfather collected comics and i got it when he, he oh dude awesome elder god well not awesome about your grandfather but awesome that he collected comic books first todd mcfarland cover cool cool oh hell yeah i love talking he's the best yeah i and i didn't i don't have this i know i don't have this right and here's the uh info for it let me read you the info while we take a look at it um psyched very happy to get these so add these comics to the amazing price of what we paid for plus all the other comic books right 
wow that's a really cool and colorful cover yeah chicho right i have m many the one that got away yeah dirt flag stories as the savings savings goes the time to buy is yeah, buy it is when you see it in in large part in large part sometimes it's just too much right oh hold on let me put this like this and let me read the description while on security detail a rock a rock concert the team contends with uh chroma's bald a ballad of devastation in concert in the key of chroma part one of two continued next story script by roy thomas co-plot by dan thomas script uh, pencils by todd mcfarlane inks by tony the De mcfarlane the zinga cover right awesome Girl. like seriously uh, we did good we did good on this right pulps yeah yeah i have some pulps indeed i'm going to change all the boards for these put them all on new boards but let's put this in here and this thing goes for more than five dollars <laughs> I can't believe we ended up getting these comics. Seriously, Yang. Crazy, crazy. I didn't think we would get them. Check this out. Check this out. He would be 107 now. He would be 107 now. Happy birthday, Elder God's grandfather. I hope he's watching with joy. Right? Todd McFarland from Toronto, Canada. Yeah. Will you sell sell the lamp? No. <laughs> Love that thing. He goes on cycling. I know this lap too. Really cool. Yeah, we have two of them actually. They're a pair. Check this one out. Let me frame it correctly. Weird Worlds number one. Weird Worlds number one. Awesome. Awesome. Let me read you the description of this. Where is this? Weird Worlds number one. Adaptation from Edgar Rice Burroughs novel at the end at the Earth's core and a princess of Mars begin. John Carter, wa warlord of Mars, stars in the trial of fear. Script by Marv Wolfman. Fantastic. Art by Murphy Anderson. David Inns stars in the arena of sudden death. Script by Lee Wynn, art by Alan Wise, Joe Kubert cover, and it's the first appearance of John Carter, Warlord of Mars. Right? Fantastic. 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 I'm trying to do it this way so you don't get too much glare. Right? Awesome. Awesome yeah super cool and i don't know the price on it is ten dollars but this uh, i don't know what this one go, goes for right now what does it go for on that page oh did i give you guys the link i don't think i gave you guys the link here is world of one it says fine minus goes for about six bucks or something which is under like pretty damn cheap right and this grade i would say probably six six point five right so that's fine john carter like mars guy yeah john carter from mars guy john carter from mars guy right first appearance of warlord right pretty cool pretty cool oh yeah carmen infantino i love i guess you know carmen my name is actually carmen haha <laughs> nice carmen awesome and carmen infantino fantastic fantastic right very cool very cool very cool very cool how's about a little lady action check this out check this out <laughs> this one this one lady cop uh sorry it's first issue special but it's the first appearance of lady cop you sort of consider this lady cop number one so lady cop and his first issue special okay first issue issue special first issue special and you'll find it here okay and this one was uh where is that one? Oh oh no i'll show you the other one afterwards so here's the link to the first issue special uh comics 
Lady action, indeed. Always some love some lady action. We all know Chicho loved the John Carter movie. Oh god, I couldn't even watch it for more than five minutes. Wow, these comics look awesome. Yeah, for sure. It sounds cool, wrong. <laughs> so check this out. Lady Cop. Awesome. Like I didn't even know this thing existed. So Lady Cop is this. Poison Poison Love. Liz Lady Cop written by Robert Kanger. Pencils by John Rose Rosenberg, inks by Vince Coletta. Awesome. Warner joins the police force after witnessing her roommate being killed. Her adventures include stopping a sexual assault, counseling a girl that has VD, and buying kids ice cream. Fantastic. And it's the first appearance of Lady Cop. Okay. First appearance of Lady Cop. There should be more Lady Cops. Well, comic books, Lady Cops. This uh, this comic was in 70, when was this? This one's 75. This one came out in 75, okay? And the grade on this, the bottom of this is a little crunched up, right? The bottom of this is crunched up. I don't know if you can see it through the paper. So I would give this around the 4.5 or something. The top is nice. Just, just, just because of that. Let's check it out. Let's crack it open. Yeah, there's a little chunk missing here. Check it out. And it's a little crunched up there. But the rest of this is not bad. Yeah, let's see. We give it a four. Awesome. <gasps> oh, wow. Please don't kill me too, please. Oh, wow. This looks intense. Oh, what? Oh, my God. Okay, take a look at this. This is the origin of Lady Cop. This is the origin of Lady Cop. Okay. First page, Lady Cop. So I'm just going to read the text and I'll show you the artwork. Please. No, no, let me show you the artwork. The page. Here's the origin of Lady Cop. Right. He's hi She's hiding under the bed. Let's crack it open. <laughs> crack. <laughs> There's a Hong Kong film passed on this comic. At least it could be, really. So check that out. Let's see if the thing will focus. Oops. That's pretty intense, right? 1975, right? That's cool. Please don't kill me too. Please. After the first one check, the rest comes easy. Oh, dropping one by one like cards. Oh, plenty of cards left in my deck. The deal to check, to deal to chicks. I'm gonna meet all aces of spades. Oh. Wow, that's heavy, man. That's heavy. That's heavy. Glad to have this. Whatever grade it's in. So I would say four. Let's give it a four. Okay. I'm assuming it would be, yeah, intense. I would assuming this in high grade is hard to find. I'm not 100% sure on it, but I'm assuming it would be, right? Because at the time, a lot of people wouldn't consider this to be collectible. Foolish people. Well, who knew, right? There's things that are going on right now that we don't know that they're collectible. Check this one. Oh, hold on. This one? Da -da 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 -da. No, no, no. This one. My apologies. Uh, is this the first hold on we gotta check this out we gotta check this out i got my things mixed up this one okay so correct me in the description of this video <laughs> later this one okay first issue special okay 
Enter the Lost World of the Warlord. So that one's uh, John Carter. I don't know if that's the first appearance. This one, I don't know if this is the first appearance of John Carter. Okay. Someone could check it. Weird Worlds. I think it is. Okay. I think it should be. Okay. 9.8 is listed as 600 in the incubus. Oh, yeah, that's right. I should have checked the price on that. Lady Cop looks pretty cool. I'd read that. Yeah. So I think this is the first appearance of John Carter. I'm not 100% sure. This one, check this out. First issue special Enter the Lost World of the Warlord. This is the first appearance of Warlord. This one I was really psyched to get. Okay. So let me read you this. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, this one hold on let me check the the other one i'm just checking weird worlds number one adaptation for uh, john carter first so that one it's probably not the first appearance of john carter world warlord of mars because cgc doesn't say it so my apologies about that but this one first issue special number eight published in 1975 I'm going to read the description for you. Land of fear. A pilot finds himself in the subterranean world of uh, Scart Taurus, where he rescues a girl and angers a high priest. First appearance of Travis, Warlord Morgan. Script, art, and cover by Mike Grell. So this is the first appearance of Warlord. Okay. And let me link this up in chat. So this is first issue special number eight. Okay, take a look at the cover. And this is a great series, by the way. I've read some of the issues of Warlord. I didn't have this. I have some of the Warlord issues. I don't know if I have Warlord number one. This directly kicks into Warlord number one. Beautiful cover. Okay, first DC issue. All right. And this one, I would say, is probably around the 6, 6.5, 7. No, about a 7, actually, just from the cover. Maybe a 6.5 or so. This haul, is, this haul is awesome. Put this together with everything else from comic book haul number 41. <laughs> like crazy haul. Fantastic. Oh, God, I'm saving the Kung Fu fighter for the end. Check this one out. This one is uh, a reprint of uh, All Star Comics number three. Okay. First appearance of John Carter in comics form was in the uh, the Funnies issue thirty, May nineteen thirty nine. Wow, awesome crack! Thank you for finding that. Thank you for finding that. This is a reprint of one of the most important uh, comic books out there, right? Which is. Um, uh, all Star Comics number three from 1940, and this reprint came out in 2000. Okay, and this is a millennial edition written uh, by Gardner Fox, art by Everett E. Hebbard, Sheldon Mulford, Bernard Bailey, Sheldon Meyer, Martin Nodal, Craig Felson, Howard Sherman, and Ben Flinton. Cover by Hibbert. Uh, by Hibbert a non-enhanced version of the reprint of the Johnson Justice uh, Society of America debuted on the first on the most important issue in comic history right one of the most important anyway okay and uh, this thing came out in 2000 okay so Justice Society of America cool such a classic cover there there on that all-star yeah yeah let me show you number one and number three of here check this out this one you priced it at 20 bucks this is legends ostrander ween uh burn and kessel okay and this is this is near mint near mint minus lowest right this is legends number one very cool glad to have this let me close that so legends number one came out in 1986 right includes mass comic insert dark side once again reigns supreme on supreme on apocalyptus uh, lips uh, by the legendary superheroes 
uh, but the legendary superheroes of Earth remain a thorn in his side. Thus, he begins Operation Hamilton, Ham, Hamilation, Ham, Humiliation. Firestorm battles Brinestone, Flash takes on Deadshot, and Captain Marvel, in his first post-crisis appearance, fights Marco Man. Legends is designed by uh, by kickoff three new ongoing to kick off three new ongoing series the flash the suicide squad and justice league and a mini series shazam a new beginning plotted by john ostrander and script by lee Wynn, with pencils by john byrne and inks by carl kessel and this has a first appearance let me check out the first appearance on this go to cgc uh, first appearance of Amanda Waller. That's right. This is the first appearance of Amanda Waller, who's in charge of Suicide Squad, right? So, pretty sort of key issue goes for pretty cheap, right? So, Legends number one, 1986 was it 1986, 1986, right? Pretty cool, pretty cool, awesome, awesome. First appearance of Amanda Waller, very nice. This guy's listed this thing. I guess he might have paid $20 for it. Uh, would this go for 20 right now? Let me see. What is it going for? Oh, let me link it up for you guys. Let me link it up for you guys. On my comic shop is saying very fine minus with 7.5 is being listed for 750. So the price on this hasn't gone up. Not yet. Right? Is she black in the first issue? Uh, I believe so. I'm not 100% sure. I'm assuming she is. For some reason, it's just the way I remember it, but maybe that's because of the movies. Should we flip through just to see? Should we do? Let's check it out. Why not? This guy's got so many bags in these boards in these guys. No need three boards, just one board is plenty. Yeah, I would give this a uh, um, near mint minus, very fine near mint minus. See if uh, that max max uh, mask insert is there. Yeah, let's check it out. Nice artwork. There's Firestorm. Here's the Flash taking on Deadshot. Mint means is really clean, like it doesn't have any dings in it, uh, like it's like basically like a mint car, right? Like no no cuts, no pieces missing. There's different gradings, right? Comic book. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Here's Shazam. Here's Shazam. Cool. oh yes there is indeed look at this <laughs> here's a five here's the mask insert nice <laughs> carlos hilarious <laughs> here's the mask insert right very cool so is this a crack is this a first appearance of mask and this isn't the green mask the john carrey thing not john carrey jim carrey thing right i don't know if this is the first appearance of mask oh check this out when did this come out when did this come out this came out in 1986 i linked it up for you guys yeah so check this out check out retro 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 look at the ad on this right crazy 1980s man 1980s i don't think so but i could be wrong nice it was a big deal Amanda Waller, we're looking for Amanda. <gasps> yep, she was. Check this out. <laughs> so she looks mean as. 
check this out. Here's Amanda Waller. Yeah, she looks mean, man. Mean, mean, mean. Ruthless. Ruthless, ruthless, ruthless. That's Amanda Waller right there. Cool. Very happy to have this. Very happy to have this. Cool. Very happy to have this. From the same series, from the same series, Legends number three. Okay. And the same link will take you there. And this is the first appearance of the new Suicide Squad. Right? First appearance of the new Suicide Squad. Let me read you this. Number three, the description for it is, and this thing's, ah, uh, uh, no, it's not that expensive. Legends chapter 13, Dark Side continues Operation Humiliation, which is an attempt to rid Earth of its legendary costume heroes. The Suicide Squad, first appearance in this newest incarnation, which is a team made up of supervillains, is formed to battle Brimstone. Plotted by John Ostrander and script by Lee Wynn, with pencils by John Byrne and inks by Carl Kessel. Okay. Pretty important book. Pretty important book. Right? Not bad. Not bad. Awesome. 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 DC Legends number three. Near Mint Minus. First modern suicide squad. So this is what the guy paid for it. Right? So he's he's sending them in the uh in the original thing that he bought him for so near mid minus which is really good really good carlos chicho uh are these the comics that didn't come in the hall those 13 key issues indeed yeah that's awesome brother hell yeah glad it wasn't a scam i was pissed with you yeah brother i'm super happy that it wasn't a scam i will i had my doubts like and then it was just weird man it was like the weirdest haul ever. Ostrander work on one of the Spectre series that I, yeah, I, I love that series. Crack. Fa and Ostrander is amazing. Amazing, really. Fantastic. Fantastic. And the last comic, the last comic that we got here, the last comic that we got here is kung fu fighter richard dragon kung fu fighter number one from 1975 let me show it to you and he paid 15 dollars for it right let me show it to you and then read the description kung fu fighter number one is the first appearance of kung fu fighter <laughs> everybody was everybody was on that series 1975 check that out check that out beautiful artwork beautiful artwork right here's the description of this book okay cover art by dick gerardano coming of a dragon starring richard richard dragon kung fu fighter first appearance oh sensei benjamin turner intro later becomes the bronze tiger script by jim dennis art by Leopardo uh, Dorano, Doranano, martial arts action based on the novel Dragon's Fist, right? And it looks like uh, like this on my comic shop. Oh, let me give you the link for it. Like a fine 6.0 selling for like $92, right? Here's this, right? Ah, it was a large comic collection. Are, are there any comics you would like to buy? Uh, what books are you looking at? Oh, Spartan, man, there's a <laughs> there's millions of comics I would like to buy. I was alive and doing push-ups back then. Haha, <laughs> crack. Wow, some solid prices for that book on my con. Yeah, seriously, expensive, expensive, right? Let's crack it open. <laughs> fantastic 
What's the grade that we get on this? Why does this guy put in so many bags and boards? I would give this one around uh, 5.5. There's a little bit of staining there and at the bottom. Let's check it out. Bottom there. Okay. But it's totally intact. Okay. I have about 5,000 books that I am slowly trying to sell. Slowly is the key. Slowly is the key. Check that out. The cover is beautiful. Kung Fu Fighter number one. The coming of a dragon. Richard Dragon. I was wondering if the extra bags was due to concern uh, with humidity. It's the extra boards. There's no extra bag. Just like th he's putting three boards with them. Possibly mostly DC Marvel and Image. I would hop on eBay, man. Get your comics priced out and uh, list them there. Here's a karate ad. Check it out. I'm assuming maybe he had him in a like a, not a comic bag, a box or something. Yeah, eBay's fees are insane. Uh, join some websites where they do selling comic books. Right? The artwork looks cool. Take a look. Very nice. Very happy to have man. So happy to get this comic call. Wow, wow, wow. I gotta go and leave like seriously positive feedback for this guy. Fantastic. Look at this. Awesome. Nice comic call. Nice comic call. Fantastic, fantastic. If you have bigger books at Spartan, also worth checking out the uh, comic link. I've never tried selling on there, uh, crack. I do need to list some more stuff on eBay to sell. I've just been listing the mermaid books that I published myself, right? Kung Fu Fighter number one. We got it. So these are the 13 books we got, gang. Fantastic. Very happy that they made them. They made it here, right? Hello, Phase by David. Crack. Either have I, uh, Chicho. Might check it out with a couple of books I have that I want to slap. Yeah, I'm starting to slowly think about slabbing, man. Like Amazing Spider-Man number 361, the first appearance of Carnage is kicking up in price. Like a 9.8, which I might have, is selling for close to $1,000 now, right? I've sold most of my big books. Okay, Spartan. Great haul, worth the wait. Cheryl, great haul, worth the wait. So glad it made it to us. Uh, better than having a Gideon Fall trade paperbacks 1 to 4. Chicho, I want it. How much? <laughs> oh my God, I can't, I'm not going to sell it. It's the only copy I got, brother. I don't sell my only copies of anything. No, I actually, I have in the past and I've regretted it beyond belief, right? Like really, I've regretted selling the only copies of books that I have, right? I sold an amazing Spider-Man number seven long time ago. Man, do I regret that one. So... The only copies of books I have, I'm not gonna sell. Not now, anyway. <laughs> oh, the God says I want it. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. 
fun gang worth the wait worth the wait worth the wait worth the wait and i'm glad it worked out and i'm gonna go right now and leave a positive feedback for the guy release the hold uh, the dispute uh, on ebay tell him i got the books thank you very much for going out of your way to make sure it happened he didn't address the problem until i made the official dispute on ebay so that's on him uh, unfortunately okay i'm canadian brother spartan crack great books chicho glad i caught this live yeah yeah i'm glad too brother you gave us some info that we wouldn't have otherwise right gravity of the situation have you ever calculated how much your entire no brother gravity is i have no idea because it fluctuates right during you know if the bubble bursts bubble and everything bursts the collection is drops by a lot if 40 percent extra funds being created based on m1 and m2 of all money being generated by the fed being created in the last year is it's going to take a while to filter through our our, our world then it might take a few years for all that money to filter through like it's literally 40 percent of all the money that the federal has created was created in the last year m1 that's inflation that's inflation i'm in ontario spartan says he was trying it on but he came through in the end right he was trying to yeah maybe maybe gang thank you for being here uh appreciate it. i'm glad we could share this zoot how are you doing <laughs> you're in at the end i'm in the middle manitoba we cover well we need someone on the east coast we need someone on the east coast and we need someone from nunavut and northwest territories and yukon that way we got all of canada covered we got to cover every province every province every territory then we represent canada <laughs> canada represents gang thank you for being here um I'm going to filter through, go through all the videos that we've done so far. I might be doing some short segments as well and then uploading those. So it's going to take me a few days to go through all this gang. So don't expect a live stream for at least another four or five days, maybe, uh, unless the comic book haul comes. So the odds are the next comic book, uh, the next uh, stream we do is a comic book haul, which is going to be unscheduled. And then I'll schedule. So look for the schedule in about four or five days. I just need to get caught up with everything i think maybe three days at best right is there a top comic on your wish list top comic on my wish list amazing fantasy number 15 <laughs> action comics number one <laughs> do you have a time machine i like to go back and zap those i volunteered to move to yukon ah cheryl awesome agreed we need a solid canadian contingent yeah indeed canada is a is an urban tale haha <laughs> we love we all live in igloos here <laughs> gang if you want to follow this work i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work support this work if you want to know what this work is about which is basically layered on mathematics you can do so on patreon i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share like for those of you who've been supporting my work on patreon thank you very much for the support uh crack strange tales 110 that's the first appearance of uh dr strange right we've read strange tales number 111 or 112 the origin i think 112 the origin of dr strange best friends with polar bears snow all the time walk to school uphill both ways <laughs> crack says in canada <laughs> yes it is yeah strange tales number 110 is the first appearance of dr strange i wouldn't mind getting my hands on it at a high grade that comic book at a high grade is considered to be a holy grail it goes for thousands it's expensive it's expensive we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e gang thank you for being here thank you for participating in the discussion and the joy thank you for sharing information thank you for the subs thank you for the follows thank you for the bits the points and everything right and mods thank you for being here and taking care of this uh, business wait you didn't shake uh, skate to school <laughs> only in the winter uphill both ways oh my god my friends are coming from hong kong they are very excited about coming to the uk awesome are they moving there elder god i'm assuming gang 
there is a there is an exodus out of Hong Kong uh, just finance wise goes and house prices are kicking up property prices are kicking up detached homes uh, and because of other things that are happening you're getting a wave and the 40 percent of n1 right later crap later all always great to see you all and hang out together awesome they are bringing comics they are bringing comics awesome awesome this awesome website thank you for being here pizzler uh 780 we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines lovk gap parlor when it comes back online and twitter and we do have a discord page where you can join and there's a lot of people sharing information you can go to our twitch channel anytime you want type in doop doop there's all the links type in exclamation mark social and you'll see all the links including the link to our discord page down the bottom zoot a new driver in theaters is now selling comic books for one dollar here in las vegas check it out a new driver in theaters really one dollar bins go get them we do not we do upload the audio for live streams but we don't have any visuals which we did today on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho's podcast and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform and we will be uploading this live stream this video to sensor to bitchute and rumble i'm not sure how when we're going to have points on odyssey to start uploading there but we'll see how it goes so if you are on those platforms you can support this work by sharing liking uh, commenting thumbs upping and all that jazz and if you're on sensor tube you can support this work by joining <laughs> the button here youtube membership okay and for those of you handful of you that are supporting this work through youtube membership thank you very much for the support gang partners is returning i hear but will it still have teeth i think it will have teeth elder god Cheryl Zoot, is it only a market or do they also show movies? Both together would be awesome. Both together would be awesome. Comic book and movie theater. Nice comic book store and movie theater. Fantastic. Gang, I hope you have a fantastic day and next few days. And I'll see you guys online. Expect videos to start being uploaded while I'm uploading pretty frequently. Expect all the live streams to be uploaded slowly in the next few days. And I'll announce the next set of live streams probably in about three or four days or so. Okay, gang. I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic time until then. Bye, everyone. And read comics, as Crack says. <laughs>